Carl, Brendan and Dan here from Games, Brains and Ahead Bang Life, GBHBL.com for sure. And it's reaction time as we're kind of taking the piss with this one, really, because this is nepotism. And it's also cheeky as fuck to have the actual one of the actual artists effectively reacting to his own fucking music <laughs> purely to get a reaction out of his father and his <laughs> uncle. Um, it is Jawbone, which happens to be Dan's band and a single hyperbolic picturesque taken from the upcoming E. P. Do you wanna do you wanna tell us a bit about this, Dan? What do you wanna know? <laughs> tell us about Jawbone and the fucking song. Oh, it, we're like a hardcore project coming from London. Uh, we have shows planned for next year and an EP that this is off of. Uh, we haven't announced the name of that yet or anything, but this is uh, our debut single. It's being received quite well, uh, which I'm pleased about. Um, I don't really know what to say. Does it well, rip? Could... Hmm? Does it rip? Apparently we do. Does it slap? <laughs> Nobody said it slaps yet. Uh, uh, I'll do it. We'll do that for you. <laughs> Cheers. Considering, considering I'm your father, but I also happen to run a decently moderate, moder moderately, moderately successful website. You don't think you want to give us a fucking scoop here and tell us the name of the EP? Nope. Is that because you don't have a name yet? No, we do. We've got, I've got everything done, but it's just like I haven't. We have, we're not doing that until next year, so... Is it because it's shit? Is it a shit title? Oh, I already told you. It's Fracture. Then you just said it. I'm not cutting it out. I know you're not, but, like, what's, what's the questioning for? Because the idea is you, we're going to be reacting to your music. We're going to be offering you uh, our unfiltered and honest opinions. I know it's easy to say that, and you'll be thinking like, well, of course I'm not going to say anything negative because you'll cry. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I've already, I've already, I've already, um, I've already spoken and talked at length, Dan, about a particular track and gave him criticism over that and fair criticism and stuff like that. That's the point. It was a review. You asked me my opinion, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I can't remember. Is this that track? Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. So it's that track as well. Problem is, is the way modern bands promote themselves, it's very hard to be invested in a lot of it and what i mean is and this doesn't just apply to you dan i mean don't take criticism of, from me from where you promote and promote how you want it's clearly doing very 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 well but the drip feeding and the whole oh we're going to release this uh picture and just a one word thing means quickly on instagram feed it's gone because the next you, you refresh and stuff like that so keeping up to date in it is really fucking difficult put it this way you're not metallica no many bands aren't metallica you don't can't get away with that I always feel like this shit needs to be snappy to stay relevant, you know? But I'm not telling you anything you don't know. You know this. You listen to a lot of metalcore bands like that, I think, you know? It's just, it's difficult now. Everyone's trying to fucking make a name for themselves. And how did you get buried? I know you've done well on Spotify. Mm -hmm. Over a thousand streams, right? It's over 3,000 now. There you go, then. It, technically, I was right. Over a thousand. <laughs> technically, yeah, but I wanted to do myself streams. up streams. <laughs> over one <laughs> but hey, you see, sounds it, good no but did you see the problem when you contrast it to youtube view, views there's the there's the burial on youtube it's so hard yeah it's definitely you know i don't have the answer i don't think anybody does uh, I've, I've had interviews with bands and we've talked about this aspect and like if anybody the person that comes up the perfect way to deal with an algorithm across social media will be a billionaire yeah, we'll be paying them, you know, and then they'll change the algorithm six months later. So what matter? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. Jawbone, hyperbolic, picturesque. Let's do this in three, two, one, go. Oh, this sounds great. Jungle is massive. Jungle. <laughs> I remember this song now. I remember this fucking song.
<laughs> Break down. <laughs> that's just all, that's literally all we're doing. It's so fun. Right, unfiltered opinions, yeah? Now, bear yeah. in mind, this is not my first time hearing this track. And uh, listen to, again, uh, a, a lot of what I thought the first time kind of came rushing back. But there are some tweaks, and I think that's quite interesting. On a multiple listen, that means I'm taking something different from it. Um, I still don't like your jungle as massive effects, dude. I really <laughs> don't. Uh, I can live with it in the song, but at the start, man. And the problem for me with it is so obviously, I'm taking the piss by saying jungle is massive, but it's so obviously that, you know, and it's almost like, it's almost cut and copy from like that style of music. Oh yeah, it's a sample, yeah. Yeah, but I, yeah. Don't, you can't sit there and argue and defend when we're, you said we're gonna- you I'm can, not, I'm agreeing with you. But what I'm saying is let me speak <laughs> and then whatever. Um, I just don't like that, I really don't. It's not my jam, it never has been, and that kind of thing. Thing is like, it's so good. There's so much good about that. And you remember I was previously not hot on the second vocalist? Yeah. I actually didn't mind it this time around. Mm. I think it works better when you're working together and he's not alone. Yeah, we our voices go quite well together when like I'll do mine are more pushed forward in the mix and his are drawn back. It works better. It does work better. Um, your, <coughs> break, your initial breakdown uh, is really, really strong. It really, really is strong. You almost lose your way with the Jungler's Massive second part because it's almost a bit too long. And when it comes back, you've gone back, you know, it's, it's kind of heavy, heavy, heavy and that roaring outro and stuff like that. But for like a two and a half minute track, I think like that's a uh, fast paced, energetic, hyper heavy, really, really like good track, like as a debut drop to show something a bit different, particularly as the expectation I think for most people would be, Dan's doing music. Oh, well, watch him ape every metalcore band he's ever loved and try and make it that. And be honest, you have a little bit in regards to breakdowns, like that's obviously gonna be a thing. I'd imagine it's a thing throughout the entire fucking EP. Uh, we have written one song without a breakdown. So. Can't wait to hear that, can't <laughs> wait to hear that. No, but that's fascinating. Is, that, shows... is it an acoustic ballad? No, it's that not. That was awesome. Uh, it, is way, dead, it is dead slow though. But it shows that there's more in your tank then. If every song was the same, where it's all leading to a breakdown, and stuff like that. You know, it's what we talked about in other reaction videos and stuff like that. Dan, I really like it. You know I do. I liked it before. And this isn't me just saying it to him because I can be a right dick um, if I want um, to be um, when it comes to music reviews and stuff like that. Uh, you know, it's one of those where it's like, my, my criticism is simply put, it doesn't mean anything. You don't, you don't have to, you're not gonna listen to me and rewrite a fucking song. It's already fucking out. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, orange though, isn't it? It's red. Oh, no that's joking. That's <laughs> <laughs> you, you, oh, you guys, you played this to me at Bloodstock um, on your yeah, phone, so it wasn't the best um, listening to it. And uh, I think you were wearing something orange at the time. And I remember pointing out to you that everything you do is orange. Uh, so that's why I thought I'd drop it back in there. Nice to see everyone was paying attention to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think oh, I was there for that. No, uh, I can't remember. But anyway, um, I'm sorry, I like it, yeah. So get that off straight away. I do like it. Uh, I particularly like the more kind of up-tempo bits more. Um, 
there are a couple of things that I'm not, I mean, obviously, like you, you know, straight away, like I think I said it when you played me before, the sampling thing as well for me is a little bit like, well, I'm not too sure about it. Um, it's what it is, just a sample at the end of the day. But yeah, it's, because it's at the beginning of a song, it kind of sets your scene to like, oh no, what's about to happen? Rather than that, oh, I'm excited. You know, so that was a bit that froze me a bit. Um, but then I really like the up tempo kind of bits. I mean, it's nice, it's heavy, the vocals are good, the guitars are good, lots of crunch, really, really strong. My only other bit that I'm not too sure about throughout listening to the song is because you obviously have like a little break before you go into the breakdown, and uh, you kind of have these stop start sort of mini second sort of sections. And that kind of made the song feel like it was three cut sections of a song rather than a flowing song. It was like a bit of a pause to kind of let, I know what you're doing and you're like, you know, you're letting the anticipation build before you come in with the breakdown and that, you know, but because there's a couple of different pauses, different points of songs, it felt like it, it didn't always flow all the way through. And okay. uh, in, a, in a completely jokey way, because I was reading the lyrics uh, along with it, which obviously at the bottom of YouTube, if anyone wants to read them, there's no way in the world that ending was saying hyperbolic. Oh, oh, honestly, oh, I, like, promise you, I promise bruh, you. I promise you. I promise you it was. Yeah, no, but I, I, that's just as a joke. That's not an actual criticism. <laughs> that's just as a joke. But overall, I really, really think it's very, very good. I think it's, you know, considering it's the first song you guys have released, if anyone had released this as the first song, I'd be impressed. Um, like I said, a couple of little things were samples, not really for me. And just just a couple of the breaks, I, you know, I remember like just jokingly kind of thinking in my head, like, oh, what's Dan having a rest now or something? And then it came back in again. I was like, <laughs> you know, but yeah, no, look, I think it's good. I think it's good. I think it slams. Oh, yeah, it it or was slaps. 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 Sorry. <laughs> Damn, I ruined it. Obviously, I'm not going to ask Dan what he thought of his own bloody song. Actually, but I will ask you this question Do you think this is the best track on the EP? Or do you think there's better to come? I, it's my second favourite. That wasn't what I asked. It's not the best track on the EP, no. All right. Okay. okay. There you go, people. Anticipation. We keep your eyes and ears out for it. Yeah, well, I was about to say, when is, when's the next single dropping? December 3rd. There you go, December 3rd. Called? Spitting Teeth. Spitting Teeth, December 3rd. Watch out for that from Jaw Bone. Um, yeah, let us know what you think of it in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on GBHBL.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash GBHBL as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal. What else is life for?